If you're like me and you hunt your own meat, then you've probably got one of these. This is just a fridge. I don't actually own a cooler. It's where I hang my meat. There's a hook up there. And uh, it's an old freezer fridge. There's the freezer part at the top, but I'd like to have a walk-in uh, cooler, but that's pretty expensive. Anyway, as you can see, my cooler is empty. That's because my hunting was crap over the weekend. How you going? And welcome to this uh, vlog off the phone. Yeah, we took out uh, two young fellas this weekend, young Jody and young Mushroom, and no pork. So that brings us to step two. Go out and knock one of my chickens on the head, or break its neck. Uh, kill ducky? Nah. We'll shoot a rabbit all here. Well, we're in an orchard and there's heaps of them out there, like there's bloody heaps, so uh, I've already thought about it and I'm not going to kill any more chickens. I've been eating one like every two weeks and I'm down to about four left now, I think, so I want to keep my eggs. Anyway, we have here the 22. It's a uh, Chinese uh, model, very cheap. It's got a wee, uh, wee suppressor on the end of it, which works very well, thank you, sir. And um, I was gifted uh, also this uh, magazine, a couple of magazines for it. I don't really know what it is, but there's always something very cool about sticking a knife on your hip. Whether you're going pig hunting, deer stalking, or in my case, just going out and shoot a rabbit. There's something about it for us blokes. It just, uh, I don't know, it just seems to do it. Now, if you are hunting for deer and pig or whatever you're hunting, it doesn't make much bloody difference if you're using a rifle if you're going after a rabbit or a hare. The same rules apply as far as uh, firearm safety goes. The same rules apply as far as stalking, being mindful of the wind, being careful of your noise, being seen, it's all the same. So you young guys that are going out shooting rabbits, and I was talking to young Ben the other day. G'day Ben if you're watching this. He just uh, recently won the Deer Stalkers Association uh, competition shooting, and he was competing against guys around sort of um, 18 years of age, because it's 18 and below, and he's like 12 I think, and he's been shooting a lot of rabbits, and he's getting his shooting really good. So I shoot probably a rabbit once a week around here, this time of the year, sometimes a bit more, and it does improve your shooting for other games. So don't knock it, shooting rabbits. You know, probably the easiest uh, domestic animal that's gone wild to shoot would be a goat, as far as big game goes. Uh, you know, you can get up pretty close to the goat without having too much skill, but rabbits? Well, man, check out my uh, video on shooting one with a blowgun. It took me three months to make that video because it was so bloody hard to get close to them. They're clever. I actually reckon you can get closer sometimes to a bloody goat in the wild than you can a rabbit. So, I can't actually film shooting a rabbit because I'm holding the phone and I'm holding the rifle and everything. But uh, when I get down here and find one, I might try and just zoom in on it and show you and um, see how we get on. Right, we're into it. Normally a rabbit just sitting there, but nothing today. I'll sneak down here a bit further. Go down the driveway and have a look around the corner. I just spotted a big red here in Harry's. Looks like a big buck. But I'm not out of shoot over at Harry's. No, I never would either. But yeah, there's one on that third row there. And I can see he's just, or well, you won't see from here, but he's just like carrying on eating grass. Look away, Clay. Look away, mate. And keep going. Well, I know for a fact there's a couple of fat rabbits living right in that wood pile there. They come out every morning and they're both mature. They're probably in there now. Oh, well, let's keep on moving up. This pump shed's always a good place to get shelter. Up here in the corner, sometimes you see. See a rabbit sneak around here. Nothing. Normally a rabbit there, eh? It's almost like they know. Jeez, okay. A big fat bunny just came bounding down the driveway straight towards me and I'm froze here by this old man pine I'm just behind here beside at least and uh, come straight towards me like straight to my feet I couldn't actually do anything because it's on a driveway 
You can't shoot on a driveway because there could be a vehicle up ahead. And there goes the ducks, the native ones on the pond. They are thriving well. Check them out. And they're doing very well. See, they've even heard me. Everything hears you. It could be so stealth. I'll just sneak on up further. Well, there's one in the bull paddock, but it's like 150 metres away. And to get a headshot that far would be nearly impossible for me. It's too far to get a clean shot. Even zooming with a camera, you still can't really see him. We're starting to see it now. That actually looks like a hare. That looks through the scope. It's actually too far away to make out whether it's a hare or a rabbit. Get a bit closer if the paradise ducks don't give me away on the pond here. And uh, see so if I can take him out, it'll be a standing shot because there's nowhere to rest in there. There's a bit of grass up here has been mowed. There could be a rabbit in this. See that. This is where I walk the dogs in the morning. Oh, I just may be lucky to get a lying shot here. Oh, he see me. Oh, I, don't. I might better get a lying shot here in the grass. Yeah, he see me, bugger. He's still there, but he's moved. They are so onto me. He's uh, just below that bit of gorse here. Hmm. Yeah, no, he's onto me. He's seen me. Bloody good eyes, eh? They can see you a mile off. I'm sneaking around the blackberry here and still he see me. He's looking straight at me, just directly underneath that piece of blackberry sticking up. I'll go on a bit closer. I don't know if you can see him now. Just under that bit of blackberry sticking up. Going closer again. Let's go up a little bit and there we go. He's looking straight at me. Was and he's down feeding in here, Link. He is too. But, uh, from here, got nowhere to rest, and I want to get a clean shot. A little bit closer here now, but still nowhere to rest up. I could take a standing shot, but uh, I couldn't guarantee it'd be a head shot, and I want a clean shot of this rabbit. It's a mature rabbit. Yeah. I need to get closer somehow. There's actually another rabbit just up here in the bull paddock. I could probably rest the uh, rifle on that fence here. And be careful I didn't touch the electric fence. Give myself a hell of a fright. Yeah, it's a big, big grey rabbit. He's like real fat. He's been living off the spring grass. I'd like to shoot him. I'll get closer if I can. I have to get just up to there. I don't know if you can see through the grass here. It's a full size rabbit. Two mature rabbits. Oh yeah. I'll sneak up closer. That's uh, close enough. I'll put phone down and see how we go. Shot. Well, his mate ran off before I could get the second shot. Now the task is to get under the bull fence without getting a bloody shock off it. As you can see, it's not very much room there at all. Oh, I don't know what's worse, the bull fence or the bull himself. I've already been chased once. This is dodgy. Dodgy as fuck. Jeez. Holy shit. I don't even want the grass to touch me and touch the fence because I've had a whack off this and I can tell you it's hideous absolutely fucking hideous I've got plenty of room there now boy okay before I get my rabbit I'm just going to check my rifle make sure it's safe you just stay right where you are bully don't you bloody come down here 
I don't want to be jumping that bloody pump shit again. Let's check out my kill. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice headshot. Gee, I think uh, Murray's been shooting <laughs> at this guy. He's been shot through the air at some stage, hasn't he? It wasn't me. I know that uh, Murray has uh, gone a few rabbits around here in the ears, he's told me. Yeah, that is, uh, it's a male too. Oh, good. Good all the meat. That's what I really like to see is a headshot. Just in there, straight kill shot. Rightio. This is the best time of the year to knock over a rabbit because they're just so fat. Look at this guy here, he's just fat as mud. And they'll be real good chomping and chewing. Guarantee he's got fat around his kidneys. The last one I got was like I've never seen before. So uh, one's enough. The other one ran off. He'll keep for another day. Ideally, hanging two would save me going out and shooting twice, but I quite enjoy going out for a shot anyway, so that's all right. And uh, we have no shortage of them here on the farm. What to say, if I saw another one on the way home, I wouldn't have a crack at it because I would. <sighs> I thought the last fence was low, look at this one here. This is going to be how low can you go limbo. Man. It would not be funny if I hit that at all. I know you guys are bloody laughing, but I would not. Shit, that's damn close. Sorted. Right. On. Oh, I can see another one down into this driveway here. I can't make out how big it is. Um, problem is, it's right on the horizon of the driveway, so I have to get up high to shoot down. I know there's nothing behind there, but the law says you've got to always have something behind you, your backdrop, so I could shoot it. Oh, another one's just popped out. Okay, the other little one's just gone back in, but at the end of that driveway there, I don't know if you can see that. Just... That's right on the edge, it's a hill. So, that's not a safe shot to take. A shot that I wouldn't miss, but uh, still not a safe shot to take. I've got to get up high so I can see the backdrop. I know there's nothing behind there, but that's not the point. I've got to make sure 100%, so... I'll do that now. He's going to be gone by the time I get there because I've got to expose myself. He's not going to hang around for this. Oh, there's a baby one in front of me too. There's two. And he's gone under. I think it's a juvenile because he's still sitting there. Oh, no, it's clear for, clear for a shot. Definitely clear for a shot now, I can see. You can see the ground behind it. I think we'll take it. Smoked him. He did one big jump up in the air, come down dead I reckon. Somewhere along here. He certainly didn't get back up again. I heard it hit his skull. Oh man, I hope I can find it. Because he jumped up really high. Well oh, there's blood there. Oh shit. He's gone down into here. It was definitely a kill shot. Bugger. I'll go and get a dog to find him. Three rabbits right in front of me. Jeez. He's a dead bunny. It was a head shot. You can see all the blood going down to here. But will I find him? It's going right down to there. That's a problem. Dog will find it probably. Okay, B, you're the man for the job, aren't you? Here you come. Good boy. We're going to go find a rabbit. Come on. Now, uh, some of you pig owners will be going, what the hell are you doing, Clay? Teaching your bloody dog to catch rabbits? Well, actually, it's a dead rabbit. He's not hunting it. I'm teaching him to retrieve a rabbit that I've shot. It's quite different. And dogs are clever. They can work it out. Leave that. Where you come? Hose in the box here right now. So he can work out 
difference between chasing a rabbit and retrieving a rabbit and all that aside it won't stop them from bloody chasing rabbits in it's breeding he's a bastard for chasing them and I've told him off for catching them but I don't lose too much sleep over it he was chasing goats or deer I'd be getting pissed off but if there's pigs around he, he just ignore the rabbits if he's bored you try and chase one and occasionally you catch one anyway we need to find my rabbit because I hate wasting bloody meat and uh, I'm fucking hungry it's been uh, past my meal time today and my prey drive's gone through the roof so that also makes me want to find it more it just amps you up good boy beat he knows what time it is we got a heap of rabbits on the farm right now oh Bruno's coming for the walk too eh the whole family there's another rabbit right down here in the grass it's a uh, right in front of us there's, there's two down here two right in front of me in the clover right there in front right in the clover where the uh, silage is there right in front of those bales you can see that and they are mature rabbits let's find that blood good boy Danny where's gone eh? where's that blood good boy where's gone good boy smelling the blood good boy where's it gone B? good boy where's it gone Where's it gone? Hey, where's the rabbit? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Hey, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Good boy, B. Where's it gone? Hey. Where's it gone, B? Where's the rabbit? Hey. Good boy, B. Good boy. Where's it gone? Good dog. Good boy. Good boy, B. Good boy, B. Good boy, B. B, good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Good boy, B. Good boy. Good dog. And he retrieved it. Oh, you beauty. Good dog B, good boy. Good boy B. Good boy. Oh man. Good boy B. Leave the rabbits. That was a retrieve, man. That was a straight retrieve. He didn't chew it and he dropped it right in front of me. See that? Good dog B, good boy. Good boy B. Leave it pace. Good dog. You're a clever boy, aren't you, eh? Good dog B. Good dog. It's amazing that rabbit actually went that far because it was shot right in the head. Went down there, it was only a wee one, but the um, act of retrieving was great. Awesome. I reckon he'd be a good duck dog, a good retriever. Good boy, B. Good boy. Good dog. Well done, mate. Good boy. Good dog. So, the thing about Pace and B is they both like going in the water, particularly Pace, and I think they could be retrievers. And uh, he brought it back and he dropped it. Just like I've taught him with a stick. And it's the first time he's applied it to an animal without chewing it or disappearing with it. Exactly what I wanted. I'm stoked. Okay, we'll go and uh, process these, uh, these bunnies. Hey, ducky. Getting very, very uh, friendly, mate. Where's it going, eh? It's in that engine bay, isn't it? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Let's pop it open. Guaranteed. Good girl. Let's see if we can lift this baby up. It's got grass growing through it. It's been so long since she's been here. Get it! Get it! Good girl! It just jumped back out when I lifted it. Good girl. Just ran it through here, it was in the engine bay. It's gone now mate, and no, hey you lost it now. It's not there now. There it goes, there it goes. Oh there's another one in there still. It was in the top sitting on the engine. Just saw its bum. Where's it gone Poe? Where's it gone? It's gone down here. Get it! Oh you missed it! It just went too. Oh bugger. Where's it gone? It was just sitting there. Top of the engine. Oh mate, they fuck cars, they get there and they stuff them. We didn't get it, did we Pa, eh? Good try mate, good try. Nah, it's gone, it's gone underneath there. Good girl. Hey guys and girls, the odd girl that's watching the uh, channel. We've come to the end of the snap vlog, it's been a long day, I'm sitting here by the candlelight just chilling. Getting ready to uh, edit this and go to bed. You know, I'm pretty buzzed out with a couple of things today. I'm buzzed out with 
B doing that retrieve on the rabbit. Such uh, such an intelligent dog, and there's so much more to that dog than I have yet to explore as far as its talents with hunting goes. I think it's going to be more than just a filthy old pig dog. And the other thing that I uh, am a bit blown away with is the comments that I got from you guys about three, four days ago. I did a, a silly, a silly video really. I was giving Irish accent to pace. How's it going there ladies and gentlemen? My name is Pace McBride and talking like an idiot and you know um you guys are so tolerant and open-minded and prepared to try something different. The ma the biggest consensus was yes do the mad Irish voice although quite a few of my patrons said nah it's not you Clay and I tend to agree with them so I'm not going to do it uh, but it's just that's not really the point. The point is it's just so cool that so many of you subscribers who follow what I do are prepared to try something outside the box, something different. Uh, I won't be doing it uh, anyway, but it was just on that particular day. I think what it was, was I was actually um, on some medication for pain. You guys know I've been through surgery and had a bit of a health battle this year. And I reckon, I reckon it just tipped my brain a bit and I was just like too excited. Because I, I'm not normally like that. It could have been that all the four coffees I had that morning. But anyway, uh, you were very understanding and I feel very grateful to have the sort of people that follow me. I don't have a big like a big following compared to some YouTubers, but I've got a bloody good following, you guys. And there's very, very few negative comments or, or shitty stuff like YouTube often attracts. So uh, thank you. Uh, I didn't have a time also to 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 gut and, and, and film it all. Actually, I'm actually not quite sure. I had time, but I've... I thought about showing that aspect of it and it was getting dark, the light was dying and I also thought, you know, the last one I did, um, really, YouTube just doesn't like that, you get demonetized. As soon as you show an animal being gutted, it's an innards showing, they go, it's graphic content, we don't want to monetize it and it costs and sometimes it even gets pushed right down so no one sees it. So I thought, well, at least if I don't show it, you guys, if you want to know how to gut a rabbit, just look at my previous one, I only did a rabbit in the last week, so... That's the reason I didn't show that if you're wondering. So apologies about that, but sometimes I leave it out because, yeah, it does. It's stupid, I know. It's a how-to channel, like how to you know, hunt or how to do this, and I can't show everything. But that's the nature of the beast, the algorithm of YouTube these days. Anyway, I am pretty tired, so I'm going to do a quick edit. Just throw it together without any music, and you will be watching it. I hope you enjoy it, and be good. Try to be good, and if you can't be good, then be careful. See you later. Better go and put this thing away too. Before I forget. Because God help me if I lose my firearms license for doing something silly. Bolt always comes out. Good night.